this is the first working demo of the Space Pi. Um, it's intended to be a astronomy platform um, for the Raspberry Pi using the Raspberry Pi camera. Um, this might not necessarily be a successful project because of the limitations of the camera module being able to take low light photography, but I'm hoping that eventually um, I'll be able to do some long exposures. Anyway, let's deal with the mechanism for taking for controlling the position of the camera. What we have is a Raspberry Pi in an SB components case. It's a good case because it's got a slot for the camera cable. The camera cable comes up to here and that's the camera module there. Um, it, the camera module is fixed using blue tack, not the greatest solution but it works, using blue tack to a pan tilt mechanism. Just tilt and pan. The servos are controlled, the servos which are in here, there's one there, and then there's one underneath this block of Lego here to do the panning. They are powered by four AA batteries. Um, there's just a, um, a little connector under here that feeds the power out here. The wire, there's some wiring down here which connects the battery to the servos and also the GPIO of the Pi to the servos. And it's just done by sticking some wires into the connector. Breadboard is linked to the Pi with a GPIO cable. Okay, that's that for the hardware. The software is a web page that's written in PHP, simple bit of PHP, and some jQuery um, to, to keep track of the current position of the pan tilt mechanism. The first thing we'll do is to refresh the page because that will reset the servos to a default position. thought it wasn't going to go there. We'll do that again. And there we go. Okay, so we have four we have four controls here. Each one of these four controls sends out an Ajax request to another PHP page, which in turn sends out a shell command to a to the servo driver that I wrote. The servo driver uses the servo blaster library to send PWM pulses out. So we have pan right, pan left, tilt down and tilt up. Pan right, pan left, tilt down. Up. I can keep tapping to do multiple steps at a time. As you can see, there is a limit to how far I can pan and tilt because of the length of the cable. The cable is is plastic, so it's not that um, flex it's flex it's very flexible, but it's not all that strong. I could end up pulling it out of out of here. I'm just going to reset the servos again by pressing F5 on the browser as you can see puts it back to the same position and that is the end of the demo